Hey guys, for this episode of Six Star Justification, we have Harmonia, the fire, I don't even know what they're called, heart magicians, I remembered. Um, so she's the fire heart magician, uh, she's a pretty interesting kit, and I really want to try her out. Uh, I got enough skill ups in her, so her third skill is max, so we can at least see how that does. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at her stats. So, um, I gave her Chasun's runes, so she's on one of my better violent sets. Um, as you can see, over 1,000 defense, over 30,000 HP, uh, and almost 200 speed. Uh, she's actually perfect for the speed I want her for, um, so let's go ahead and take a look at those skills. So, uh, like all Heart Magicians, she has Tempted Dream, or Tempting Dream, which it attacks enemy target to absorb the attack bar by 15% with a 30% chance. So, 30% chance that she's absorbing attack bar, which is really nice, because, I mean, any skill you increase your attack bar on skill 1, that's pretty solid. Uh, and then also it has a 10% chance to sleep for one turn. So that's really, really nice, and her damage is according to attack speed. So I got about 200 speed, so hopefully we'll do some decent damage, but uh, as you can see, still need some more uh, harmful effect rates to go up in that. Uh, 15, so 20, so that's a 50% chance to absorb attack bar on skill 1. That's really nice. Um, I'm assuming it goes into both of them, so 50 and then a 30% chance to sleep. But I'm not positive on that because, again, I don't have it, so I haven't been able to see that. Uh, skill 2. Recovers HP of all allies by 20% each and grants immunity for one turn. So, she's got a little bit of heal and she's got immunity for one turn. Um, I'm missing two skill ups in that, uh, so the recovery rate goes up just a little bit more and down to three turns. Um, but pretty nice skill, so she's got turn 2 heal and immunity, which is, I mean, immunity is always good to have in any monster. Uh, and then skill 3 is why I built her Unwanted Harmony. Evens the HP of an enemy target excluding the boss and the ally with the lowest HP. Decreases the HP of the enemy target by 15% and recovers the ally HP by 15%. So basically what it does is like, let's say we have Harmonia is at max HP and the other opponent is at max HP. Well, it doesn't do anything because it, they're already both at 100. It would just reduce their HP by 15%. That's basically all third skill do. But let's say... Um, we're using like Theo with Harmonia and Theo's endures proc and we've got an Orion on the other team we need to kill and he's at full HP. So what it's going to do is going to even them both out to 50 because uh, Theo's at 0 and Orion's at 100. So it's going to even them to 50 and then Orion's going to lose 15% so he's going to go down to 35% HP and Theo's going to go up to 65% HP. So it's like a 65% heal on my Theo and then it's dropping them by 75% HP if someone's at like zero like Theo would be. Um, so it's it's an interesting skill because it's kind of like a Chasun's Fallen Blossoms except you're you're basically healing by damaging the enemy. Um, so for Guild Wars I thought that'd be very interesting to test out because um, it's not just a heal it's I mean it's I'm healing but I'm also doing damage at the same time. So I thought it'd be pretty cool just to see how she works. Um, so that's why I gave her Chasun's runes because that's who I'd be using her uh, in replace of. Um, and then for Awakening, she awakens into resistance, uh, so that's really nice, and any monster awakens into resistance, uh, always get a better chance to not have him get stunned over and over and over again. Uh, and then for runes, like I said, we just put Jasoon's runes on her, um, so it's, uh, violent and, uh, will, so she's violent will, um, like I said, 30,000 HP, 1,000 defense, um, basically 200 speed, so... Let's go ahead and we're going to hop into a guild war with uh, Malevolent uh, and we'll see how she does. So pretty much perfect thing just happened here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and try to steal some attack bar from Theo, which we did not do. That's okay. Let's go ahead and put attack slow on Theo. Okay, let's proc his Endure. Oh, did he just kill himself? He did just kill himself. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that back on. Can we steal some attack bar? Nope. Okay. So he just got low again. We're going to try to go ahead and... Can we steal some attack bar? Nope. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting hit. Uh, can we go ahead and kill him? Boom. 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 
Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and try Unwanted Harmony, uh, but we want to get make sure our panda gets some heal here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use it against his wind panda. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna even out between the two. I'm gonna get healed, he's gonna go a little bit lower, but it's a, just like a weird, it's a weird way basically to heal. Um, and we'll go ahead and throw ourselves immunity real quick. And let's just go ahead and kill Theo. We'll proc into Wind Panda. So it's basically, it's like a, it's a weird way of basically getting healed. Can we steal some attack bar for once? We did. Nope, just kidding. He just increased his own. She does steal attack bar in the first skill, but it's a pretty low chance. Um, as you can see, she hasn't done it yet. Defense break. Thank you. Boom. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, sure, let's just even out just to reduce his HP just a little bit. Just a touch. <laughs> Not going to reduce it by much. Um, can we steal some attack bar, please? Nope. Boom. Poke. Oh, this might take forever. Slow him down. Hmm. Let's just not even increase his attack, bro. We'll just give ourselves immunity so he can't defense break my panda. Uh, let's go ahead and poke him here. And he should die. Okay. So, worked pretty well there. So let's try her again uh, on a second one and we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're going to try her again. Sierra Orion Rakan. We're going to see how this works. Um, I'm kind of interested to see uh, how she does against this team. Uh, because I've, I have a couple different ways I'm thinking of using her. So, uh, let's see what happens here. So we got Harmless Prank. Okay, beautiful. Didn't remove anything. Okay, so you resisted a bomb, which is okay. Collapse my Rakan didn't do too much damage. So we're going to go ahead and... Hmm. Now this was a question. Because what I can do is I can unwind it against Sira here. So it's going to even out with Rakan, but it's not going to do that much. Uh, and you know what? Let's just give ourselves immunity here. And then we'll go ahead and slap her... Oh, almost got the kill. So, Rakan didn't do enough damage to my Rakan in order for me to get the kill. But we also put that immunity up, so we're not getting hit at the moment. And there's Collapse proc, and she just fell down. So, um, that worked pretty well. And we'll just see what happens here, because I need this skill, the third skill, to come back up, which it is already. Wow. Okay, she keeps procking like crazy. It's only a four-turn cooldown, so it's the same as a lot of other skills. Um... And she awakens into resistance, which is nice because it's coming into play here against this Orion. Uh, let's go ahead. We just gotta drop this Orion. Boom. Poke. Okay, so right now, as you can see, not a lot of HP. Like, my Rakan got pretty low there. So we're gonna go ahead and even out our Rakans here. So his drops a little bit, and mine's gonna go ahead and heal right up. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and poke this Orion. Well, let's go ahead and provoke. Boom. Almost got the kill. Is Rina going to get the kill for me? Almost. There we go. So let's go ahead and put the immunity on. So when we attack uh, Orion here, he can't provoke us. Boom. Boom. Nope. Not worth it to do it. Because he's so low HP, I'm at full HP. It's not worth it to use that third skill. Is it worth it now? It, it would. It is going to be worth it now. Um, no, it's not. Not anymore. Just kidding. I can just heal, and we'll be fine. So it's it's kind of weird because it's like a it's a chasoon but like backwards. Um, so it's it's interesting. I'll, I'll give it that. Um, now there's collapse, but I think we'll go ahead and collapse him, and we should be able to kill him. So it's interesting because it's similar to like a chasoon, but at the same time, not really. So. We'll, we'll see we'll see how it keeps going here. Alright, for this last team, we're going to use 
uh, our Theo and our Orion uh, against a Wind Panda, which is going to be a Wind Panda, a Wind Monkey, which is going to be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and see how she does with a team like this. Um, I think she's going to do pretty well with Theo as a secondary unit, but we'll really just have to see what happens here. Okay, so we did get turn one. We'll see if we can't stun that Orion. Okay, we stunned Kumar, which isn't that bad. We got a defense break on Orion, so hopefully we can kill him here. That's a tanky Orion. Um, should we try to go for the kill? I think so. Okay, so we got the kill on Orion, which is good. So we're going to have to deal with his RNG annoyingness. Okay, so that's where we're starting in. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on the wind monkey here. All right, let's go ahead and let's even out the wind monkey and Orion here. So he's gonna drop down a little bit and our Orion's gonna get healed up. And let's see, can we go ahead and kill him? Beautiful, boom. Let's go ahead and heal, get immunity up. Can we steal some attack bar? Beautiful. Poke him again. So basically, I mean it's it's like a Chasun, but like you're you're damaging your opponent. Like I can do it here too, just for fun. Like it's just gonna it's gonna heal him a little bit, but then take his HP away. But it's also gonna heal my guy. So it's like it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird skill, but I, I kind of like it. I mean I'm kind of liking it because it's allowing me to get kills a little bit faster than I normally would. All right, so that's Harmonia. Uh, I really really like her as a unit. Uh, I think it's really weird because it's like she's kind of like Chasun but instead of attack buff you're getting immunity um, and it's like it's not quite as good as a Chasun to me but at the same time it's just as helpful in Guild Wars because you're damaging your opponent instead of just healing yourself. So it's like you don't get as good of a heal because let's say like Theo gets his Endure proc uh, and like I switch so he only gets healed to like half but then gets healed to like half plus six, so 65% HP instead of full HP. Well, it depends if Harmony was like at zero. Um, if she was low, only Theo's getting healed, but then you're also damaging your target down to 35% HP, which if your Theo then gets the turn, he's probably gonna be able to kill. Uh, and then if she procs, she can buff up immunity. And then her first skill, she can steal attack bar or potentially sleep. So um, I really like her. Uh, I think she's gonna be a an interesting unit to play around with and keep using uh, as we keep going. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.